guys, how are you doing? It's the Socially Awkward Seller here, awkward as ever, and um, I thought I would bring you a, a real quick video on um, basically what I sold, what I bought in the last day or so, not much, just a couple of items, and uh, I don't know, maybe some insights. Um, so I uh, let's just jump right into what I bought. So yesterday I just stopped quickly by Goodwill and I'm really getting into shoes. I have not made that transition to clothing and I might not ever. It just does not interest me. Personally, I am not a fashionista, so it's not something I'm passionate about either. Um, but you know, and that could change, you know, maybe I lose 50 pounds. I, I start to care about clothes, but I've never really cared about them that much. Um, so I, I just don't have a, a great deal of interest in clothes, but I do kind of like shoes, not for myself so much. I mean, I like shoes, but, um, I haven't always been barefoot and pregnant. Um, and I'm barefoot right now, but not pregnant. But um, I do appreciate shoes, and shoes are e easier to list, I I find. Um, they are easily inspected. The only thing that you ever need to be concerned about is there are some shoe brands that the, the soles dry rot, and they crumble when they're starting to be worn again. Not this particular brand, but this type of sole. So that is one thing to watch for, but typically if you're buying things that have um, leather soles, you don't have as much problem. Um, none of the ones that I bought today have leather soles, but let me just show you what I bought. Um, they were all $3.99, I think. Yeah, I think they were $3.99 because um, they're a flat rate at the store unless they're marked. So I bought these Sperry's, which are kind of cute. They're a pretty common size. They're seven and a half, cute little pink inside, and they they have been worn there's a little soiling on the inside but it's not bad and um you know the soles show some wear but they're still in really good condition there's still a lot of wear left in these sperries and um i love sperries i just think they're a perennial favorite and they're just a classic shoe i mean this is a classic shoe this has been around for the last 50 years um it will continue to go around. I wore um, shoes like this in high school that were the dark chocolate color. So, uh, and we all know that's been a while. So I'm hoping to get 20 or uh, like 25, maybe $28 for these. I don't know if I can get 28, but I probably can get 25 easy enough. Um, interestingly, I bought these for myself. These are made by a company called BOC or Bach, I guess. Um, but really cool kind of textured um, loafer nice sole um, they ended up being a little too big for me they're a size 10 um, medium and they're just a little too roomy they're, they wouldn't be comfortable for me to wear so I'm gonna try and get about $25 out of these because they're such an un unusual look and I bought this pair of Le Artiste um, which is not a shoe brand that I was familiar with, but this is one of those situations where I'm like, ooh, cool design, um, quality materials, because this is leather, and I picked them up and looked these up, and I think I can get about $40 for these. Um, you know, if they have something like this on the bottom instead of just a little plastic sticker that has information on it, you know it's probably a better brand. And then the, the quality of this, um, of this threading, this, that's probably not called threading, but I forget my words. And then this really cool leather detail in the back, very cute. It's got an elastic in it. That's, um, so it's a kind of a, a stretchy shoe. These are in really good condition. Um, on my shoes, because I'm not only socially awkward, but I'm clumsy, which does not help, trust me. Um, I have a lot of wear on the toes here where I drag my feet, like, well, not like a Neanderthal or nothing. I mean, my knuckles aren't, you know, dragging too, but, um, but I do tend to scuff the toes of my shoes a lot. So 
I'm hoping to get about $40 for those. And I got these because I've been looking for a pair of wellies um, for a while. These are not wellies. And if you don't know what wellies are, look up Wellingtons. Um, they are British. <laughs> I almost said a British, British band. No, they're a British brand. And uh, they make a really exceptional rain boot that has um, been around for a really long time. These are a cheap knockoff. But again, I paid $3.99 for these. I really do like the Peacock, and I've been looking for a pair in my size for a while. So as long as my uh, calf, which is the common problem with women, their calves won't fit in boots, but these are adjustable, I should be okay. If not, I'll sell them for $15 or $20. And then the last thing that I bought was this West Bend Curly Cutter. So it will cut curly fries for you. Um, I actually bought this to use... And I've, it's probably one of those gadgets because I'm very much like one of my older sister that likes to buy every gadget on um, QVC or I mean, is QVC still around? I don't know. Or HSN or whatever. And, tr you know, use it once and then you're stuck with it. Um, she will order it from TV. I will wait for the thrift store um, opportunity. So um, I'm going to probably give this a try and then I'll get tired of it and I'll either put it in my flea market booth for like 10 bucks or I'll sell it on eBay for 20. I paid $3.99 for this. So that's all that I bought. And um, I do have a lot of stuff to list and I'm going to have to get on that. But, you know, I'm having kind of a rough um, couple of days. I was off a little bit yesterday just from the lack of sleep. There's nothing really wrong. I just have insomnia sometimes that I can't sleep. And then, um, and plus I've been going, going, going with responsibilities outside of eBay this week. So, um, I have decided that, you know, it's just not been a very good couple of days. Um, I wanted to have roast for dinner. I didn't have the broth I needed. I wanted to bake a cake and I went to get the ingredients to make this cake from scratch. And it's supposed to be similar to a cake that my husband and I had at our wedding um, over in Jordan. So that, that there's a very specific texture that um, this cake had. It was like a regular cake, but it was almost angel foodie. You know, it wasn't very, it wasn't a very crumbly kind of cake. It, it was just wonderful. So I bought the ingredients for that and forgot to get butter. So no cake, no roast today. Sometimes your days are going to be like that. And I find that two things help, um, you know, help overcome those. One is to take a nap because you always wake up in a different state of mind when you wake up. It's kind of like resetting yourself. And two is humor. So sometimes humor just presents itself and you know, you didn't do anything to cause it or I, I, I like to think of myself as a humorous person, but you know, sometimes I find things that are just terribly funny and I, I can't stop myself. And so today <laughs> what it was, I opened the, um, the Mozilla Firefox, Foxfire, whatever it's called browser. And it, it had a picture of the of the moon, and it was waxing, you know, because the moon waxes and wanes. And it said, how do you know if the moon is waxing? It, it said the dark side is on the left, so that's how you can really tell. If you want to know if the moon is waxing, if you look at it and the shadow is on the left side, the moon is waxing. Also, you can tell by the screams when the hair comes off. So I, th I found that very funny. Maybe you don't find it as funny. Guys might not find it as funny because they've never waxed. Don't try it um, because it's incredibly painful. But um, I just found that funny and it just put me in a better mood. So without any further ado, let's go on to what sold. Um, so I did my purge yesterday and I, I um, knocked out about 85 um, listings, uh, I took them out of inventory. Let me tell you that I just feel so 
um, lightened, like my load is lightened because I don't have to think about those items that have just been sticking around and won't sell no matter what I do with price or title or anything. I've just gotten rid of those and I'm really happy about it. And I don't care if I make, you know, much for them because, um, I'm going to, I kind of supplied most of the stuff for the yard sale. My daughter and her friend are going to run it. We'll just split the money when we're done. I mean, and, and I'll be happy with that. And I'll probably hit some, maybe a church sale in the morning if there is one. Don't forget, if you're not working in the morning and you have some free time to go to craigslist.com or um, one of your yard sale, garage sale apps and look to see if there are any sales tomorrow because Friday here in the Midwest has become a very big yard sale day. So, um, you know, make that plan uh, for Friday or for Sunday or Saturday, pardon me, for Saturday if that works. So um, I say that because I brought up the purging because I went in and I changed the prices of a couple of things that I noticed had a couple of watchers but weren't moving. So I change the price on these to $12.50 plus shipping. What these are, are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Yeah, there you go. Um, little figures, and they're like blind packs. You don't know what you're going to get inside or what figure you're going to get inside. Um, this is a three pack, and I sold it for $12.50 plus shipping for a total of $16.25. Um... I showed you guys this a couple of weeks ago when I had gone on this binge and bought all of these um, bathing suits. I paid $2.99 for this bathing suit. I don't know why I bought them. You know, I just said how much I don't enjoy selling clothes. Um, but here's the top, and it's a tankini. And um, I, again, I paid $2.99 for it. It sold for $12.99 plus shipping for a total of $16.74. And that lot of um, Littlest Pet Shop stuff that I just bought for $65 and finally got it listed a couple of days ago is starting to pay for itself already. So I lotted these two Siamese kittens together. Look at their little faces. And uh, they sold for uh, $14.99 shipped. So I'll, it'll cost me $2.67 or so to send these in a padded mailer. Um, this actually came out of a a lot, um, a palette that I bought. And I thought my cat might like it. He does not care for it so much. And quite frankly, I have a really large, long cat and he won't fit in it very well. He sleeps halfway in, halfway out. So I just put this up for $12.75 and sold that plus shipping for a total of $23.75. Um, yesterday I got a message from a gentleman uh, that was interested in buying this West Bend slow cooker and I probably listed that two weeks ago, three weeks maybe, two weeks, three weeks and I had it for $29.99. I paid four bucks for it and he offered me, I didn't have best offer on it, but he sent me a message and said would you take $20 plus shipping and I decided I would because I don't think I don't know that this is a thing that's going to get another potential buyer for a while so I went ahead and took it um, so the total is $31.40 on that and then this um, I probably had listed for about a month this is a Belkin um, wireless router and uh, I paid just a couple of dollars for this, like two dollars, I think. This sold for $24.99 shipped. Probably had that listed a month, I think. Um, and then the final thing was these um, Clark's, Men's Clark's, Bushaker, um, uh, leather chukka boot. And I bought these for like $4.99. They needed laces. And quite frankly, I was just too too lazy to buy laces for them. So what I did was lower the price a little. Noted in the listing that they needed laces. And these, these are really good condition. And Clark's are a really good shoe. I sold these for $23.75 plus shipping for a total of $32.25.
And that's all I've got sold for today. So, um, if you're considering, I just wanted to bring this up because it came up today in a conversation. Um, two, two different points. The first one was my daughter is starting to get interested again in selling on eBay. Um, and her, one of her friends is interested in it as well. They both have small children. It's uh, sometimes not cost effective if you're going to work for a minimum wage or just above that job to put your kids in daycare. It is really, really expensive. So they're both interested in doing a job where they can work from home, they can work while the kids are asleep, um, and kind of go at their own pace. So the thing that came up was I wouldn't know what to buy. You know, um, and there's no easy answer to that because there are millions of potential products. They are everywhere and you can go in any direction. Um, you can buy, you know, you could sell clothing, you could sell dress coats, you could sell shoes, you could sell jewelry, you could sell um, mid-century modern tchotchkes for the house you could sell vintage electronics you could sell vintage kitchen appliances you i mean there's just you could sell hardware you could, there's just a no limit to the products the diversity of products that are available there's even more thinking out of the box if you create digital content or digital products where i'll make a logo for you i will print business cards for you, that kind of thing. So, I mean, it's really limitless in um, what you can sell. And I guess that causes a problem in and of itself because where do you begin? If you have limitless possibilities, <coughs> excuse me, where do, you, where do you start? And I say start with what you know. So if you are really knowledgeable about action figures, then maybe that should be your focus just for a little bit until you start feeling really comfortable with this process. If you are knowledgeable about paperweights, whatever it is, um, maybe it's Disneyana, anything that, do, that has to do with Disney, maybe that's your thing. Whatever it is, video games, which is, you know, that can be a saturated market, but still, you might be able to find something that's that's not available or that is rarely available. Um, there's just so much out there and you know more than you think you know because I promise you, you buy things and you're not blindly buying things. You, you, you buy things for yourself all the time so you know what those things are worth. Um, see if you can translate that, that into something to sell and do research watch videos. If your interest is, clo is in clothing, there are lots of clothing sellers out there. If your interest is in camera equipment, there are sellers that just sell ca camera equipment. If you are interested in other stuff, you can look to see what I sell. You can look to see what some of the others sell. If you're looking for high-end products, that one's, that's going to be your specialty because you know I find that, especially with clothing, um, when they're talking about high-end clothes, they're not not—they're not just the Gucci's and the Versace's and the Chanel's of the world. There are tons of other high-end brands that I've never even heard of because, again, I don't care about clothes. And I'm just not, you know, I don't have my finger on the pulse of the fashion world. So there is a lot of knowledge already out there on the Internet. Find a video that says 10 things you can sell on eBay. Watch to see how dated it is. Take that information and do research on eBay and see if they, those are still viable products. You know, if somebody's saying to sell baseball cards, well, let me tell you, a lot of baseball cards that were printed in the late 80s, 90s, and on aren't worth anything. You know, be very careful and do your research before you go out and spend $50 on a lot of ba baseball cards and you can only flip them for 90, 99 cents each. I mean, so, you know, be, be cautious about that, but there are resources out there. 
you shouldn't have to necessarily pay for that information. I'm not one of those people that people that will sell you a list of these products or these brands or any of that. Um, I think person, and there are people that get mad about that. Um, I personally think that there is enough market to go around because for every seller, there's, you know, there's how many buyers, you know, what's there's, there's a millions, there's millions of buyers on eBay daily. So, um, I'm fine with sharing information and I think that, that it's important. I wouldn't have gotten to where I am and there's still f much further for me to go, but I wouldn't have gotten here without watching videos and, and having people share their, their experience with me. So I'm fine with sharing that information. Um, but do your research, go with what you know, and, um, do not let fear stop you from buying that first thing and listing it. Just do that. What is the worst thing that can happen? You screw up, you lose money. Well, invest a dollar or two dollars and then your investment, your loss is pretty low. One thing. And the other thing is completely on a different topic. I was asked today if I could sell some things for somebody. And I stay clear of that whenever I can. I'll sell something for my sister or my other sister. Um, but as far as doing consignment, I find that for the, the same amount of labor that I'm doing listing my own products, I am making less listing somebody else's product. And it's just not worth it to me. And I don't want to... I don't want to spend my time listing stuff for them. I don't want to work for them in that way. I will show you all day long how to list a product, product how to, and answer your questions and show you how to do something. But I just don't want to spend my time doing that. Plus, then there are tax implications, and I just don't want to get into all that. So be cautious with that. It might be a good way to get your business started if you don't have funds to do um you know, to start buying some products. Maybe that's a way that you can start. But um, I would just be cautious with doing that because so this whatever sells and you go ahead and give, you know, you, you've sold this, you go ahead and give the owner of that, their portion of the proceeds and 30 days later you get a refund request. What are you going to do? So, um, anyway, I would just be cautious with that unless it's something that helps you get your business going. And then I would try and steer clear of that because you'll find that you're working for other people for nothing or practically nothing when you could be doing this for yourself. So anyway, I'll di digress about that. All right. So that's about all I've got for you today. Um, I'll let you know how the yard sale goes tomorrow and if I find anything to to buy, I don't need to be buying really because I do have quite a bit to list and I need to get on that. Um, but I'll try to get it listed by Sunday because Sunday is usually a good listing day for me. But until then, remember that the dream works when you do. So keep dreaming and keep working and I'll see you the next time.